don't let your mind tell you lies. Yes, I cannot express this enough. I get messages on a weekly basis about women who let overthinking take over. You're losing sleep because you can't stop thinking. Overthinking feeds your anxiety. Your heart races when you think about what it is that you have to do. It's almost like you can't breathe sometimes because the overwhelming feelings of what you have to do, what to think about, what to handle, what to deal with, are all closing in on you. Time is flying and yet your progress hasn't moved an inch. Your mind is saying, this may not work, I'm not sure this is for you, maybe you're not even enough. Your thoughts are looping in your head. We often use words or phrases like overwhelm, anxiety, I can't, this feels like too much, maybe I'm not ready. This is how we describe what's going on in our world. And the more we think it, the words get louder and louder in our heads. So much so that we lose sleep, we procrastinate, maybe we avoid, we stall, or maybe we quit. This is real life. And it's not only you. It's also not the real story. Your mind is lying to you. In order to be able to overcome it, you have to be able to recognize it. Fear and the sensation of being overwhelmed are emotions that produce feelings like self-doubt that holds us back from moving closer to our dreams and our goals. This often happens when we have new projects, a big decision, or even a big goal. One way to start overcoming fear responses like self-doubt and anxiety is by recognizing that your brain is being overprotective, overcautious, and kind of like telling you lies to make you stop. Your brain is trying to protect you, but it's your job to discern if that level of protection is warranted. Your body responds by creating emotions, and it's our reaction to those emotions that either give them strength or take away their power. Self-doubt is not here to support you, so it's time to let it go. And here's how you can take away its power. Be aware of your thoughts. When self-doubt pops up, knock it down and think the exact opposite. Look at how far you've come and all that you've achieved. Literally, write it down. Do not compare yourself with others. We don't know everybody's story. We don't know their level of assistance. We don't know their challenges. Run your own race. You are not them. Hunker down and do you, boo. Have you ever compared yourself with people around you? If so, comment below yes and drop any questions you may have. Let's do this together. Make sure to subscribe, like, all the good things so that we can reach more women together. See you next time.